Hello everybody and welcome to this video and in this video we will be making the ball and paddle game in order for the continuation of learning scratch. So now let's get started. So the first thing that we will do is that we will be programming the paddle sprite. So let's get started off with that. So, we'll, so if we use this function in space invaders also. So what we will be doing over here is that we will be doing when the green flag is clicked forever. Um, Set X ah. it's supposed to be in. So now what we'll be doing is that let's set it to mouse X. So it will be very um, mobile friendly and then there's not much there's not much work required. You just need to like move your mouse. That's that's for the laptop users. So okay, so now let's get started off. And just check how the program is doing. So it's currently working perfectly. Now what we will do is that we uh, now we uh, sorry I mean, now we'll be doing the uh, ball. So when the green flag is clicked, point in direction to about forty five. Yes, point in direction 45 and then forever, forever move 10 steps because we need to get the ball moving all the time uh, of the game. So that's why we'll be doing move 10 steps. Then now what we'll be doing after that is that we'll be doing set x to... Uh, uh, Yes, then we have to do if on edge bounce, sorry. So, if on edge bounce is a scratch block, which just makes it, like if in case this is hitting the edge here, then it will automatically uh, get off from the edge and then it will bounce in a random direction, which is, no, in and, and like 45 degrees. So now, in the, in 45 degrees direction, that's what I mean. So now, this is how the game will be doing. It will give us some kind of randomness that we do not know where the ball is going. So let's check it out. So now the only bug in this game is that uh, when I'm bringing my paddle over here, it is not bouncing off. So now the thing what we can do over here is that we can add one small line of code and then it will be over. So when the green flag is clicked, We'll be adding a conditional statement over here forever, which means how till how long the game is going if touching the paddle, the sprite, the paddle sprite, then it is going to uh, automatically, it is going to point in the direction of uh, randomness. Okay, we want randomness again. We don't want to know in how many degrees is it pointing. We want something that is probably somewhere out of the world but reasonable and logical so the thing what we'll be doing over here is that we will go to the operator section and we will add the pick random okay so the pick random will actually it will make it point it will actually uh, turn the uh, it will actually turn the ball in such a degree that it that it will uh, give it some sort of randomness and yes so well, oh sorry sorry for the small lag i forgot to put it in so 1 to 180 that's what we want it to go to so the reason that we are not doing more than 180 is because if it was more than 180 then it will automatically just hit the ground and there's no point of that to happen so um now let's now create a sense of competition by adding the score usually what people do is that and other scratches what they do is that they just click the ok button we're not going to do that so we'll be doing the cloud variable which is currently stored on the scratches servers so now we'll be setting the score to zero and here if it touches the paddle then it'll change the score by one so let's let's have a small test of the game one two now let me just like leave the entire thing Let's see how it is. No, we don't want that. That is not good. 
so thing what we'll be doing is i will be making a red line so i'm gonna paint i'm going to actually just draw a red line over here and this is the game over okay we'll be ending like the game over here like in case it touches let's make the thing about 20 about 20 and let's drag it somewhere over here so this thing is our game over sprite when the green flag is clicked i'm just going to set it to this location one second yes i'm going to set it to minus two x y minus one and one more thing what we'll be doing in this thing is that we'll do when the green flag is clicked we'll add again the conditional statement sorry for the small lag it's just a lagging a bit forever um if forever if now if touching not the mouse pointer we wanted to do to the uh, ball then it is going to broadcast game over oh, oh, sorry that's in the event section event section then here we have it the broadcast block and we'll be making game over broadcast now the now let's add this into and then it's just going to do a stop all okay this is for detecting whether it is going to happen like that i mean whether if it touches then it's just going to stop it all so let's have a look okay that seems good but not that good enough so now let's add one last addition which is the game over text game over text so i'll add this game over let's make it red and let's give it a little bit of a pixelated font and red so when the green flag is clicked it will hide and when the green and uh, when I receive game over, it is just going to show. One second. Okay. Let's. Okay, now the only bug in this game now is that it's starting from a random position. And we don't want that much randomness. So let's make a start over here. Um. Okay, so now let's have one last test, which is pretty good. This is the entire ball and paddles game. So that's it for today's video. Thanks for liking. Uh, thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this to your friends and family so in order they can also learn code and code. So that's all for today's video. So kaboom.